strengthening Nigeria's democratic process. Let's get details from IODG Markinde. Nigeria's democratic space has over the years grappled with highs and lows. The lows are major concern for these experts who converged in Abuja for a high-level meeting on enhancing citizens' participation and protecting dissent in Nigeria by Socio-Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP. A greater percentage of Nigerians only feel um, free to express critical views that appears to be critical of government policies, actions with their friends and families and colleagues. That means uh, that they are not, they do not feel they are free to do it uh, in public. As Lead research consultant, Professor Elijah Okebukola, noted that dissent is recognized in the Nigerian law, but has been limited to closed secret conversation and when expanded through media platforms often attracts sanctions. Posting dissenting political views on social media, you find that those that have formal education were more involved in posting dissenting views on social, uh, on social media than those without um, formal education. We are not a rubber stamp National Assembly. Um, last week, we had a situation where the executive arm of government reached out, uh, sent a letter, an executive bill to amend uh, the provisions of the 2023 Appropriation Act and 2023 Supplementary Appropriation Act. And there was dissent about it. Strategic Partners advocates for protection of human rights to dissent as it safeguards democratic process in Nigeria. They call for factual and evidence-based reportage in the media and a joint effort against misuse of social media space in Abuja, 